Hello YouTube, it's your girl Kimberly. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about 10 makeup tips. Yes, I got to do it backwards so y'all can see my nails. 10 makeup tips for beginners. So things that I wish I knew when I first fell in love with makeup and became a makeup enthusiast. Um, so if you want to know more, keep watching. Let's go. So, 10 tips. I'm going to be counting on my fingers too so I can remember. <laughs> so, tip number one don't compare yourself to other people now I know that's not like an actual specific makeup tip but it's a journey when it comes to learning how to do makeup and it's very easy for you to watch people who've been makeup artists for 10 15 years on YouTube and feel like my makeup doesn't look as good as hers or his and I now feel bad about myself and I feel like I'm not doing a good job that is not true and in the same breath of the don't compare yourself to other people is have give yourself grace all these things take time I have so many pictures from 2010 I started wearing makeup from 2010 to at least 2012 I could not do eyebrows I had the scouse brows I was using black pencils and I look crazy and I have so many pictures from that time period where I just look at it I'm like oh girl it was rough but over time I got better at makeup I started learning more trying new products realizing you should never do your eyebrows with eyeliner it's just it's hard to blend and make it look real and it's just it, it's more work so all those things you learn with time so give yourself grace as you are learning these things and eventually you will get there and your makeup will look great if you feel like you don't want to take the time to individually teach yourself, watch the videos and learn, go to a makeup counter. And when you go to get your makeup done, ask them to kind of show you how they're doing it. So granted, they might not be trying to break down every little thing for you, but they will at least say, here's the brow pencil, do, stro do small strokes. Here's the concealer, clean up underneath the brow. Like they can give you tips and tricks on your face and maybe if you if you explain ahead of time to the makeup artist what you're trying to do they might even do a one-on-one -on -one class with you and you could just pay for a class and then they'll show you how to do your own makeup so that's a great investment so don't compare yourself to other people give yourself grace learning these things take time number three everything does not have to be high-end so yes if you saw my Pat McGrath eyeshadow review video you're probably like girl I know you're not saying that everything don't have to be high end. When was the last time you reviewed some drugstore makeup? And I'm trying to get better at that, okay? I have some past. I just did two videos, all right? But everything does not have to be high end. In reality, makeup expires. Makeup's not collector items. Makeup is not tchotchkes. It's not little precious moments dolls. Like, makeup grows bacteria and destroys itself after a certain amount of time. So... It, you don't need to be constantly consuming expensive makeup because you can't keep it forever, right? So it's not an automatic go to the high end. Now, there's nothing wrong with high end makeup. High end makeup is great. But when you think about your daily look, your daily wear, what do you do, where are you going, kind of dial back and see what products do you really need high end and what are you just buying high end because everybody's talking about it on YouTube. Do not feel bad if you're buying something just because everybody's talking about it. I've been there, done that, bought the t-shirt and coffee mugs back for my whole family. Like I've done that. I've bought so many things just because everybody was talking about it and I want to talk about it and I'm going to buy it. But eventually you're going to get tired. And it's smarter for you to just be more strategic in the beginning than to go through going in debt, maybe regretting things that you bought and that you could use that money for something else. Like you just never want to be in that position, especially when it comes to makeup. So everything doesn't have to be high end. There's there's options out here. So take care of your try the options. And that's going to lead me to number four. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, I did it. I only my, oh, there she go. Number four <laughs> is going to be embrace and try drugstore makeup. Now, 
There are so many brands that are phenomenal drugstore makeup. NYX, 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 ELF, Maybelline, Revlon, L'Oreal, Iman, Black Radiance, Milani, like Wet n Wild. There's so many drugstore brands that are really, really good. And it's a little more difficult because you can't necessarily try it or play with it like you could in a Sephora or Ulta. Ulta has some testers for drugstore products, but not most of them. So I, I do get it from that part, but besides foundation and concealer, everything else kind of goes. Like, I mean, yes, one eyeshadow palette might go better with your skin tone than another, but at the end of the day, you can still use it up and it'll be fine, you know? So look at the drugstore, see what they have going on, see the new products, and try things out at the drugstore because there are, like, I love, my brow pencil is L'Oreal brow pencil. Um, I have drugstore mascaras because, you know, you got to throw that out every eight weeks, six to eight weeks. So go to the drugstore, explore the makeup there. If you feel like you don't necessarily want to just be trying all the makeup to see which one's the best, use YouTube as a resource. People will have so many videos on all the drugstore brands. You can find out if it's good or not and then go and get it if you feel like I can't touch it. So I don't know how I feel, but um, we wasn't really... Uh, touching any makeup for a long time because of the state of the world so I mean consider just kind of taking a watch some YouTube videos see what people say and then kind of take a leap of faith with the drugstore I find that I, there's very few times I absolutely regret it most of the time I'm impressed or I at least like what I got so don't compare yourself to other people. Give yourself grace. Everything doesn't have to be high end. There are amazing drugstore products out there and you need to try them. Beginner tip number five. Learn one thing at a time. If you are trying to figure out how to master doing brows, watch a lot of brow videos, do a lot of different brow strategies, and then figure out how to do brows. If you are trying to figure out how to do eyeshadow, watch a whole bunch of eyeshadow videos, look in magazines for inspiration and photos for inspiration, and then practice blending and applying and doing all the different things with eyeshadow. If you find, if you try to be like, I'm gonna do a perfect face, one thing is gonna be off guaranteed. Like, even as people who are seasoned makeup artists if you watch them do their videos you'll see they end up going back and changing something and fixing something or putting a little more powder or going back and using a fifth eyeshadow shade to blend out something that they didn't like how they blended before like there's always going to be something for you to tweak so if you're if you're learning it's going to be harder for you to learn to do everything at once and it's easier just to take those baby steps. So my recommendation for beginners is, you know, master one thing at a time. And I would say start with um, the easy stuff, right? Low hanging fruit. Start with applying mascara without getting it all over your face. Um, start with eyeliner that's just straight across, no cat eye. And start with um, concealing. So not the under eye highlight whole situation, but like concealing any dark marks or anything you have. Um, I think that's a good place to start. And then once you kind of master that, because those things are easy, um, especially with the mascara, if you really just take your time, you can put mascara on correctly more so than how you might be doing it. So individual little steps at a time, and then eventually you're going to build a full face. Um, there's still some things I can't do. I cannot, um, can't I? It's a hit or miss for me, but there's sometimes where I'm just like, I'm going to do basic eyeshadow. I'm not even going to focus on that that much because I just want to focus on doing this cat eye really good. And then I focus on that one thing. So once one step at a time, no need to rush. Like um, Jordan said, uh, I think that's who said that, right? Okay. Anyway, keep going. So don't compare yourself to others. Give yourself grace. Everything doesn't have to be high end. There's great drugstore products. Teach yourself one makeup Focus on one makeup technique or area at a time. The next um, tip that I'm going to say out of the 10 tips for beginners in makeup is don't spend a lot of money on makeup brushes. <laughs> 
I know that that's not really a tip. Maybe I'm saying it's a tip. Don't spend a lot of money on makeup brushes. Um, yes, Mac makes great brushes, and one brush for thirty, forty dollars could not be an issue, right? However, the more the merrier when it comes to makeup brushes. So for example, the eyeshadow look I have now, unfortunately the pink and the green are fighting the most. But I have like a hot pink, a mauve, a brown, and two different green eyeshadows on. The camera's not really giving me grace, but believe me, I'm telling the truth. For each eyeshadow, I use a different color brush. So the pink, the mauve, the brown, and then the two green. So five different eyeshadow brushes. If those eyebrow eyeshadow brushes were $40, $50 each, I might not have enough to have five and use them and not clean it. I also took a eyeshadow brush with no product on it and blended. So technically I use six. Eyeshadow brushes roll under tables, under your bed, under your couch. They fall out your makeup bag. You leave it at the hotel. So many things can happen to these brushes and it's just not necessary for you to spend $40, $50 a brush because there's so many good brushes for cheaper. Sigma Beauty, Real Techniques, ELF has some good dollar brushes at Target, okay? Or their store. NYX has really good brushes too. Um, I think it's NYX. But there's a lot of affordable brushes. Sonia Kashuk at Target. Phenomenal brushes. Like, don't if you want to get a brush that maybe comes with the foundation and it's a kit and then you get like a deal, maybe get the expensive brush then. But in terms of buying one brush at a time, there's so many affordable brushes that are amazing at a lower price point. It just doesn't make sense for you to go spend all that money on expensive brushes. So my recommendation is Sigma Beauty, ELF, Sonya Kashuk. Those are my top three. I like Real Techniques too, but they don't sell the big kits in stores, so I'd be sad about that. So don't compare yourself to other people. Give yourself grace. Everything doesn't have to be high-end. There's great drugstore products. Learn each thing one thing at a time. Don't buy drugstore brushes. Don't spend a lot of money on brushes. Um, number seven. Let's see how the, the remembering thing is about to stop. I'm telling you right now because I got a bad memory. Number seven is try something out the box and fun. At the end of the day, it's just powders and creams and don't limit yourself to what you think your quote unquote style is or your quote unquote way is. I used to never ever wear fake lashes because I was just like, that's not my style. Like I'm just not that over the top. And I just, I don't want fake lashes. And then I tried it and then I liked it. So try the right colors. Try the, this is where, especially where the drugstore brand is going to come in. If you see everybody's wearing blue eyeliner and you're like, I want to try it, but I'm not really sure how I'm going to feel about it. Go to the drugstore, get a blue eyeliner. Try it out, see how you like it. And you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised how many trends you end up thinking are super cool that it seemed like they were just, too trendy for you but you ended up really liking it so seventh tip is to try things outside the box try try the bright colors try the crazy technique the stacked eyeliner the reverse cat eye like whatever it is try it out you might like it um and worst comes to worst if you don't like it you can wipe it off your face and start over um don't do that when you have some place to go when you're in a time crunch but in terms of if you give yourself extra time to get ready and you're trying something new do it um, so try new things outside the box. Number four, number eight, beginner rule. Mm. I'm trying to think. Number eight. What should be number eight? Get samples. A lot of these, <laughs> you can't do this for drugstore. Drugstore, you got to buy it. In the pack once you break it it's yours once you open it it's yours however uh the makeup counters uh sephora ulta um probably even some of the stores like morphe nyx uh elf 
when you go to a makeup makeup store, ask them for samples. A lot of them have, especially with the state of the world now, a lot of them have clear containers. I went to the mat counter, they actually have a bin full of little Tupperware containers so that way you could fill it up with samples and try it because people don't feel comfortable, you know, taking their masks down to get their makeup matched. So you can take all the little samples home with you and do it yourself. Ask for the samples. That's it. Just ask. What's the, the worst they can say is no. But they're most likely to say yes. So, ask for the samples. The reason why I'm even pressing on the point of asking for the samples is foundations and concealers oxidize and change color. So what happened is you could put foundation on, look, in, look at it in the store, perfect match. You go home, get in your car, take the train, walk, live your life. You look at your face now, it looks orange or it looks red or it looks green because it oxidized with the oil from your face, the chemicals from the environment, and it now looks completely different on your skin. You can only see that happen if you wear it. You can buy it and return it. Totally an option. But a lot of places give out free samples, so you should just ask for them. And get the shade you think you are, a shade lighter and a shade darker. That way you can see if you need to mix and match, see if it's automatically going to match. Um, get the free samples, and a lot of y'all don't go and ask, so, you know, closed mouths don't get fed, so go ask. Squeaky oil gets the wheel. Go ask. <laughs> can I have free samples, please? I'm interested in this foundation, but I'm not sure what shade I'm in. Don't necessarily feel like, you know, exposing myself to the outside air to try it on. And, you know, I want to match, you know, my face and my neck and all my things. So, free sample, please. Thank you. And it's not enough for you to be living your life off this free sample, but it's just enough for you to try it to see how your skin is going to react and if it's going to last and if it matches you for real, for real. So, as for free samples. But that was eight. Nine. Don't use old makeup because you're trying to save money or for any reason if you open a mascara and you've had it open for six to eight weeks toss it if you have a lipstick and the lipstick's older than two years old toss it you do not want to end up giving yourself a skin infection pink eye um mold in your eye or mold on your lips even if you scrape the mold off or whatever, those spores and stuff is still in the product. There's a reason why everything expires. You wouldn't try to save expired food and still eat it. So don't do the same thing with makeup. There's a reason why there's an expiration date on it. So please, 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 please adhere to those. And then that brings me back to the um, everything doesn't have to be high end and try drugstore makeup. For me... I'd rather get the drugstore mascara and throw it out every so often so I don't have any issues instead of trying to stay with a high-end girl and give myself some kind of disease, you know? So, it throw away the expired makeup. Once it's old, don't use it. Um, you can, there's a little pot in, on the box. It'll be a little pot with the lid open and the number inside that pot is how many months you can keep uh, the product. So look at that whenever you buy something new. And before you throw the box away so you can see how long you can keep it um that was number nine and the number 10 rule for makeup beginners is have fun yes try all the trends do all the things watch the videos look at the commentary and just enjoy being a part of a community that is here to talk about makeup things and spread joy and love and fun there's also a lot of drama and nonsense in the makeup beauty youtube community but i think it's more positivity than negativity and i've met so many amazing people and it's been such a great ride so i want to say talk to people enjoy it have fun when you're in the makeup store if you see somebody getting something and you're curious like hmm that's interesting that says it's a, a body highlighter and I just saw you put a little on your face are you planning on buying it and using it like that 
Where'd you get that idea from? Oh, you saw somebody do it online? What happened to her face? Did she have oily skin? Have these conversations with people and then that's how you'll learn even more and understand more information. The free samples, I was not even hip to the free samples. I was just going to Sephora, buying the full size and returning it when it didn't work out. And then somebody was just like, oh, ask for the samples. They got the little, and they give you a little Ziploc bag, they put your name on it. They write the number of the shade that you want to try and put it in the little baggie. I'm like, why didn't I know about this? So you got to talk to people. That's the only way you can figure these things out sometimes. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you found it helpful. If you are a beginner in makeup, leave your comments in the question below section. I can answer it for the most part. <laughs> if you have been wearing makeup for years and you feel like you have some advice, please share it below so that way everybody can learn from your mistakes, your knowledge, and from the things that you do. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.